Hey guys, it's your favorite guy here, Guy Fieri, with some new spicy tomato recipes. I'm only kidding. It's Leon Lush, it's your boy. And I hope you're wearing a condom because we, uh, as a unit, you and I together, we're gonna uh, go shoot up some of that fire ass cringe. Hit it, Cowboy Jesse. It's a real tough laugh if you say now before we go any further, I gotta give you a little backstory here. I was perusing Twitter yesterday, as I often do, in my free time, and my dear friend and avid Tomato Mafia supporter, Yogurt, he mentioned me in the replies to this video from the Deplorable Choir. And I gotta tell you, I'm not one for fate or for everything happens for a reason, but in this moment, it felt as though the skies parted and rays of light were shining down from heaven, bestowing upon me this gift of cringe. Trump train moving ahead full steam. It ain't too late if you feel that dragon energy. Jump on board, we'll save you a seat. Trump train, dragon energy, they're saving me a seat? I mean, there's nothing else I could possibly want in a Smash Country single. Except for maybe that girl on the left-hand side to start bopping around uncontrollably like a lunatic, praying to God that this song never comes back to haunt her. Save you a seat. Yeah. Yeah, please. please, God, make it stop. Okay, now, now it's perfect. Sucked into our and squashed Obama's legacy. If you listen close, Talked to Iran and squashed Obama's legacy. Please. If you listen Please. closely, Please. your man is crying. Disclaimer. 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 I shouldn't have to make a disclaimer, but I feel like there's going to be some people in the comments that say, <laughs> Snowflake. And I got time for that shit, right? I don't give a fuck. If you lick gently up and down the side of Donald Trump's ball sack, or if you think that he is the worst thing since stale sliced bread, because cringe does not discriminate. And all I'm doing, regardless of their political leaning, is watching the deplorable choir and ingesting it at face value. It's a real tough life if you say you are a liberal. Trump train Makes moving ahead, full huh? steam. Hey, I mean, I'm only through the first course, and this is one of the most compelling pieces of political propaganda I have ever laid eyes on. How can you not love Donald Trump after watching these three beautiful girls and this one possibly gay boy play the guitar in the background? It's just so compelling. I'm now a MAGA supporter, I guess. Kanye, where are you at? Let's collab, bro. It's a real tough life if you say you are a liberal. Boopy dee scoop. Moving ahead, fools. Scoop dee dee whoop. Ain't too late if you feel that drag. <laughs> Jump on board and we'll Boopy dee scoop. See? That witch town cast more holes thanks to Judge Ed Ellis. Ed Ellis. Ed Ellis. Ed Ellis. Astonishing second verse, full of cold hard facts and truths, absolute truths backed up by science and by God. I don't know how a single liberal snowflake could possibly lay their eyes on this country masterpiece and not instantaneously become a massive MAGA supporter. Chugga 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 chugga. Hoot hoot. Trump train 2020. Woo! Okay, so the video's over, and honestly, my favorite part, what I think is the most telling part. Uh, about this whole experience is at the end here, uh, they put the text on the screen that says, share with the liberals since CNN won't mean so much, silly face. And I th it's, it's, it, to me, that says that they actually think in their own minds 
that they're like doing the Lord's work, right? Like that sharing this video, if we retweet this video and share it to the masses, we can convince all of these blind idiots in the world that hate Trump that Trump train is going full steam ahead. Trump train 2020. Trump is fucking climbing on board of the train to the tweet. So share with the the share with the liberals because CNN will not share with the liberals because they're fucking snowflakes too. You're all fucking snowflakes. Share it with the liberals. Uh, <laughs> oh. Now, as someone who's admittedly quite apolitical, I watch a crew like this and I think to myself, boy, they're they're kind of working against themselves, aren't they? Like. I don't think the layperson would watch this and be like, well, you know what? They have a pretty good point. Maybe I should really look into this Make America Great Again thing. No, the layperson, the normal, average person looks at this and thinks, you are fucking crazy. You know, it's one thing to support a president and his policies and what you think he's doing to help the country that you love. But this is just on a whole nother level of ideological shaft stroking, just throwing out all the buzzwords and shit, wearing the hats. It's cultish, almost. I guess I should have read this earlier, but the actual text of this tweet is, uh, New song, Trump is winning. Huge. Can't expect the fake news media to report it, so we're here to enlighten the liberals. Please retweet, retweet. And I ought to be honest with you, you're probably just pissing off the liberals. I mean, the divide that this country has seen these past couple years is only being widened by this dribble. But it makes for a great meme. And Leon appreciates you for that. You guys are awesome. Does the president heard any of your songs? Keep them coming. I could listen all day, says Chuck Holmes. <laughs> Chuck Holmes? More like amazing taste in music. <laughs> when are you releasing an album? Sign me up for an autographed copy, please. Finally, something nice and positive and MAGA with current events embedded all over the lyrics. Y'all are just amazing. That's a tweet from God and Country with 71 likes. Can people really not see that this is cult-like behavior no different than the brainwashed masses who follow Obama or Clinton? I can tell you, it's like a breath of fresh air hearing something actually logical being said in the replies to this video. Found my new go-to torture song, thanks. That's gonna get a like. Okay. <laughs> hey, big media, I've got a story for you. Then he tags a bunch of news personalities. See replied to tweet with video song from this awesome MAGA Trump supporting band. You will want them on your show. This is why Trump has so much support. This is kind of a theme uh, running in this reply section to this video. It's like, it's all of these people just commending them on their incredible work and oh, this is the best song ever. And none of it really is based around musical merit at all. It's all because they agree politically. I just want to see one person that's a Trump supporter in the comments be like, yo, you know what, I love Trump, but this song's kind of garbage. That would help me digest this quite a bit better. Serious question. Do you ever have any misgivings about the fact that when you have no evidence for your beliefs, you're forced to imagine that there's a vast conspiracy by the media to cover it up? This song has way too much information in it for liberals to digest. Maybe if you reduce the song to two lines, it won't melt then. Laugh until I'm crying. There it is. There it is, that, that fucking right-wing arrogance, that, ooh, if you don't b believe everything that I believe, you're an absolute idiot, fucking, ooh, pride, America, yeah, liberals are fucking stupid, yeah, trucks, guns, booze, bitches, Trump, MAGA, veterans, yeah! And the award for most appropriate reply to this tweet is from my dear friend Simon Law, who sums up this whole experience with a gif. <gasps> Today I learned that Donald Trump socked it to Iran and squashed Obama's legacy. And that if you listen close, CNN is crying. I mean, these are some revolutionary lyrics, some of the most influential writing, I think, in the last two to three decades. And girls, if you're watching this, the Deplorable Choir, you gotta know it's, it's nothing personal. I got nothing against you personally. It's just this whole horse and pony show that you're putting on is just, oh, it is just so, so bad. Now, don't get it twisted. I love this country and I am grateful for this nation and the liberties I am afforded because of the sacrifices of the men and women who have come before me. But I also love reacting to cringe, so here we are. Can you say Trump Chain 2020. Trump Chain 2020.
Hurricane 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just trying to have a little fun over here, right? Don't take it personally. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I upload in the future. Because if you're still around, you clearly enjoyed yourself. So why wouldn't you want to have that same experience again? I even have a whole catalog of videos I've been doing over the past couple years. So you can watch them all and give me that sweet watch time. And if you could do me a small favor and just head out to your garage, grab the weed whacker that your dad left in there, there should be a little bit of gas left in it, head over to your neighbor's house across the street and just blow that weed whacker all up and down the side of his house and just fuck up his shingles. And when he comes out the house screaming, hey, you little piece of shit, what are you doing? You throw a rock at his car window and when he, when he charges you because he's pissed off, when he runs directly at you and is coming with a fucking haymaker, you do a jumping backflip dragon kick to his chin and as he's lying unconscious on the ground you take off his shirt you pour a little bit of milk in his belly button you go you snoot that milk out of his belly button and then you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me and flip that shit blue i appreciate your time as always i'll see you in the next one what the fuck was that that was too long that was too long <laughs>